Things have gone from bad to worse for Boeing's 777X program, a project once hailed as the future of aviation, but now mired in delays, technical issues, and growing concerns. This time, a significant design flaw discovered during flight testing may have far-reaching consequences for both Boeing and the global aviation industry. Engineers recently identified a critical structural problem in one of the aircraft's components, forcing Boeing to halt test flights indefinitely. What was once touted as the world's largest and most efficient wide-body aircraft has now become a symbol of Boeing's ongoing struggles to keep pace in an industry where time is everything. Boeing first introduced the 77X with great fanfare. It was meant to be a game changer, an aircraft that would redefine long-haul air travel by offering unprecedented fuel efficiency, increased passenger capacity, and the ability to serve ultra-long-haul routes with ease. At a time when airlines were seeking to replace their aging wide-body fleets with more efficient aircraft, the 777X seemed like the perfect answer. Boeing claimed that the 777X would set new standards in performance, size, and operational efficiency, making it an attractive choice for airlines looking to modernize their fleets. And for a while, it seemed like Boeing was on track to deliver on those promises. However, the journey of the 777X has been anything but smooth. The program has been plagued by delays, technical problems, and cost overruns, casting doubt on Boeing's ability to deliver the aircraft on time, or even at all. The latest setback, involving a faulty structural component between the engine and the wing, has raised serious questions about the future of the program. This flaw, discovered during a routine post-flight inspection, has far-reaching implications. The component in question plays a critical role in maintaining the aircraft's structural integrity, particularly under the immense stress it endures during flight operations. Any defect in this area not only jeopardizes the safety of the aircraft, but could also force Boeing to make costly design changes, further delaying the 777X's entry into service. To understand why this recent issue is so concerning, we need to take a closer look at the troubled history of the 777X program. When Boeing first announced the 777X, the aviation industry was abuzz with excitement. The aircraft was positioned as the successor to Boeing's highly successful 777 and 747 models. With a seating capacity of up to 426 passengers, the 777X was designed to be the largest twin-engine jet in the world. Its enormous GE-9X engines, the largest ever built for a commercial aircraft, were expected to deliver unparalleled fuel efficiency, which was a crucial selling point for airlines facing rising fuel costs and increased competition. But the reality of developing the 777X has been far more challenging than Boeing anticipated. The first major setback came during engine testing. The GE-9X engines, despite their promise of efficiency, faced serious durability issues during testing. These problems delayed the aircraft's first test flight from mid-2019 to early 2020, marking the beginning of what would become a series of ongoing delays. The durability issues were so severe that Boeing had to redesign certain parts of the engine, a process that took months and set the entire program back. As if engine problems weren't enough, the 777X faced another serious issue during a stress test in 2019 when a door blew off the aircraft. This incident raised concerns about the structural integrity of the plane, prompting further scrutiny from aviation regulators. Given that this occurred around the same time as the fallout from Boeing's 737 MAX crisis, regulatory agencies, including the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, were already looking at Boeing with increased skepticism. The combination of these issues slowed the progress of the 777X, causing delays that would push its entry into service well beyond the original 2020 target. Then, the global pandemic hit, adding another layer of complexity to an already troubled program. The pandemic disrupted supply chains, slowed production schedules, and significantly reduced demand for new aircraft, particularly large wide-body jets like the 777X. Airlines that had placed orders for the 777X began to reconsider their fleet strategies as the market shifted towards smaller, more efficient aircraft suited for shorter domestic routes. With international travel coming to a near standstill, 
the need for ultra-long-haul jets diminished, further complicating Boeing's efforts to keep the 777X program on track. By this point, the 777X was already several years behind schedule, with its new target for entry into service pushed back to 2025. But this latest structural issue could push that timeline even further. Boeing has confirmed that it is replacing the faulty component, but the process will be time-consuming. Every day that test flights are paused means another day of delays, another day of mounting costs, and another day of uncertainty for the airlines that have placed orders for the aircraft. Airlines like Emirates, Lufthansa, and Qatar Airways, some of the 77X's biggest customers, are growing increasingly impatient with the constant delays. Emirates, in particular, has been vocal about its concerns, and further delays could force it to reconsider its fleet planning strategies. If Boeing cannot meet its commitments, there is a very real possibility that some airlines may cancel their orders or switch to alternative aircraft models, which would be a financial disaster for Boeing. Meanwhile, Boeing's biggest competitor, Airbus, has been capitalizing on the 777X's struggles. Airbus's A350 family of aircraft, which directly competes with the 77X, has been gaining significant traction in the market. While not as large as the 777X, the A350 offers similar long-range capabilities and fuel efficiency, making it an attractive alternative for airlines looking to replace their aging wide-body fleets. As the 777X's delays continue, more and more airlines may opt for the readily available A350 to meet their fleet renewal needs. For Airbus, the ongoing issues with the 777X are an opportunity to further solidify its position in the wide-body market. The European manufacturer has been steadily increasing its market share, and the reliability of its A350 program stands in stark contrast to the 77X's troubled development. In fact, some industry analysts believe that the balance of power in the commercial aviation market is shifting, with Airbus poised to take the lead if Boeing cannot get the 777X program back on track. Could there be more to this story? Find out next time.